breaking off with a girlfriend. What's happening, man? Um, so I'm trying to unplug myself. Uh, basically, like made some good progress this first year, I guess, like started around the first of the year, set a goal to ask a new chick on a date mm-hmm. every week. Um, had horrible success like the first three months and then um, went on a date with this chick and we uh, I, I actually didn't like her that much at first but she kept bugging me she wanted to hang out um, and so I kept hanging out with her I've I've dated a, a couple chicks like went on a couple dates with uh, a couple other chicks since being with this one but mostly consistently with this one I guess like when do you know Cause I don't have a lot of options outside of this. And I think I'm my, I think I need to break things off with this girl. Cause she's not really adding or complimenting my life. Um, but I don't, why have, is she a drain? What is she doing? That's making her a drain on your life. Um, I'm very like fit active. Um, she's, she's kind of lethargic. Uh, like when we first started hanging out, she said she was really active and loved to do things. Um, but like we went up, for a little mountain getaway like a couple weeks ago we went on a hike and she rolled her ankle and um i know everybody says that's fucked up (laughs) she she rolled her ankle walking yeah i know well okay she did and um so so she's not out of shape she doesn't walk that often no and she like started crying and it was uh like i didn't really know what to say and then i kind of like brushed it off it's like oh whatever like you know maybe she tripped it's people make mistakes but Mm. um I went on a bike ride with her like a couple weeks ago, rode with her like the whole time. It was like an out and back uh, route. And then at the turnaround point, I kind of just like, I kind of like left her in the dust, just like kicked up my cadence, started mm. to pedal, have fun. But I like every so often look back and um, I stopped at a checkpoint and like waited for her to catch up. And um, she says to me, she said, the first thing she says, like, you don't have to make this a race. And uh, uh, I was just like, well, like, I'm not really trying to race. I'm just trying to have fun. Um, and I kind of brushed it off. And then like 30 minutes later, I was like, hey, you know, I think that was it really frustrated me how you said that. I feel like you're nagging me. Um, and then uh, we had loose plans to go to dinner last week. And then she, she, uh, I forget what happened. She did something that pissed me off and I just kind of like ignored her for a couple hours. She and flaked on you? Did she flake on me? Yeah. No, I I actually flaked on her. Um, I went and dropped off some paperwork to one of my employees and said like... Oh, so you're running your own business? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've called in before. I have my own HVAC business. Cool. Um, so, so basically... So let me question for you. So if she's out of shape, why did you go out with her? Uh, not a lot of options to begin with. And it was like, a you meet her? uh, we met online. So, uh, you could tell me which I, you're going to roast me, dude. Um, okay, go blind. So like blind date, we matched on dating app and, uh, I saw blind, her, like you didn't have a photograph of her. No, before I you went out? Oh, she actually looked good in the photos. I'll say that. Um, well, they always look good in the photos. Exactly. But they do. Um, is there, was there like older photo, like five years older, 30 pounds later? Like, what are we dealing with here? Yeah, there was some of that. Yeah. I don't so think she, it was. To okay. That so she catfished you. Uh, or fat yeah. Fished I mean, you. It's not the worst one I've ever had for sure. I mean, yeah, she, but you got fat fish though, right? I mean, she lied about what she looked like. Yeah. And she actually looked pretty good when, when we met up, but like it's yeah. been about four months now and she's definitely like dropped off. And, um, I, I've confronted her about it and told her, and that's why she started riding a bike. She went and got a bike. So she is like trying to work on these things. Can I just get some frame around what we're dealing with here? Like what's her height and weight roughly? Uh, she's probably like five, eight, 140, 150. No, she's not five, eight. She's probably like five, six, 140, 150. Um, but not fit. You're saying like, she's more flabby. Yeah. And when, like, when we first met, she was like just a little bit flabby, and now it's just like gotten worse. Yeah. And um, yeah, these are like things that you can't fix. Like, how old is she? Twenty five. Yeah, I don't, I don't recommend guys try to fix any of this stuff. Like, especially in her twenties. It's like, look, man, like, women are usually their most beautiful. The, you know, their most attra- like the hottest a chick is ever going to be twenty two, twenty three years old, right? I can go back in my yearbook and I can look at any gal that might show up on on Facebook that I went to high school with and she looks way better in her high school graduation photograph than she does today, right? Like 
this mm-hmm. is as good as it gets. Yeah. So if you're dealing with a chick in her early 20s and she's like, eh, or she doesn't really like blow your hair back, she's kind of like average or average-ish or whatever. Or she's, you know, not really looking like what you like. Mm-hmm. Don't even bother, dude. Like, Save your save your time for your hobbies, for your interests, for you know building a brotherhood, friendships, and date you know whenever you can. But don't waste your time on eh, because like eh, it's just like and just gets worse. I uh, did just you, gets so much worse. You're telling me exactly what I was hoping to hear. Thank you, I appreciate it. So, so I mean, the question I have is, if you already knew the answer to this, then why did you do it? Uh, I think that's like something I need to work on. I think I'm afraid of being alone. I've, I've been alone for a very long time and it is like convenient to have somebody around who's available. Uh, But it's getting to a point where it's like, it's not the juice isn't worth the squeeze anymore. And I mean, it was nice because like it was, I was on such a dry streak for like, I think I didn't have sex for like a year prior to that. Um, Where do you live? Like in what part of the States? Uh, I live nearby Boulder, Colorado. Okay. Like like north of Denver. North of Denver, like what's the population? Like a uh, hundred thousand. Okay, so it's a it's not a large town then for sure. So I mean, your options no. are going to be smaller. How old are you? Twenty seven. Are there any colleges or universities close by? Yeah, University of Boulder is uh, or CU Boulder is like twenty minutes. I work up there pretty often. Yeah. Yeah. Why don't you date those gals? They're a little bit younger. They're probably a little fitter. Um, you got something going on. I have, I, I have always seemed to deter girls like that. Um, I'm not like higher educated. I am like I'm self-employed. I have my own business, but um, it seemed like uh, my whole life, like I just never got a lot of attention from those girls. Uh, when I was younger, I was a like a, I was super skinny kind of a nerd i played soccer like here in america i mean i'm making- what do you do for a living again you said you're an hvac yeah i started my own business like three years ago uh-huh. and um, what do you do you like install these units you sell them service install repair maintenance yeah mostly residential but i'm trying to transition to commercial uh, my dad owns a commercial company here and yeah. he wants me to take it over what do you pay yourself annually uh last year i i'm like 55 is what I made last year. Oh, you should be paying yourself a lot more after three years if you're running the thing and you got employees. Um, yeah, but with like how I set my taxes up, I don't claim a whole lot. Um, yeah. So you're running to... most of it through the business? Yeah. Like I actually vehicle, gas, yeah, client meals, entertainment. It's, it's probably more like 80 last year, if I had to guess. And okay. I'll probably do 30% more than that this year. Yeah, look, I mean, you're going to, like, there's there's people in the chat going on about your mustache. Kill the mustache, shave the mustache. Da, da, da. We'll deal with the look in a second. The, the like, the like the school chicks that mm-hmm. think that they're better than you because you're blue-collared and you do HVAC sort of work, um, I always find that funny because I had this conversation with a buddy of mine years ago, and it's like, you know, um, you could be a junior lawyer uh, here in Toronto making $75,000 a year and a chick would probably pick him over a guy that's been running his own, I don't know, plumbing company for 10 years, make, paying himself $200,000 a year, right? Mm-hmm. Just because of the prestige of like the lawyer name. It's like, you know, you could be potential husband material, father material, you know, stuff like that. Um, there's some women that put a lot of weight in education and degrees and, you know, stuff like that. Um, that loses uh relevance over time you know if i'm being honest with you like i don't even have a university degree and i make more money than anybody they ever went to school with that has university degrees most of them are dipshits that that did nothing with their lives right Mm -hmm. Um, so it it doesn't have a lot of relevance as time goes on um when you're in your 20s you might get some pushback just ignore those checks oh okay you think you're special fine, you know, go fuck yourself with your, you know, liberal arts degree, painting, basket weaving, underwater, whatever it happens to be. It doesn't matter. It's not relevant. You want to choose women that, 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 that are choosing you. Um, the relevance to the people talking about a look in the comment section right now about killing the mustache and, you know, getting a look sort of thing. I don't know that, like, I don't know what's up with the mustache. Like, is that the best that you can grow? Oh yeah, man. I can't grow facial hair. Shave it. Shave it then. Yeah. Yeah. Like it's, (laughs) Yeah, if it's not filling in, then it then it looks like weak game, right? I mean, if you're going to grow a mustache, then you need something solid. I'm just trying something new. Yeah, is it, fine. 
Like I get it, but I mean, if you want your options to expand and you want to get more women choosing you, then you want to kind of like lean into confidence and a look that's really going to sell for you. And I think that the mustache does you a disservice. It kind of makes you probably look younger than what you are, which is fine if you want to date, you know, super young chicks, but I don't think it's a look that suits you, right? Uh, mm -hmm. You ever get like, you know, women or friends that say, hey, George, you kind of look like so-and-so from Hollywood or musician, artist. Like, did you ever get that? Uh, in No, not really. I don't think so. You never get a look? Like somebody says, you know, you look like so-and-so? No, a lot of people tell me that like my voice sounds like either um, Better Call Saul, um, but I've never got like a look before, no. Okay. I got these big ears, dude. They like, that's the only thing that... Where are you getting big ears from, man? Your ears are totally in proportion to your head. Um, I think they are now. I think when I was a kid, I got bullied a lot for it because I was like very skinny, had this like skinny neck. I'm, I'm very athletic now. Mm -hmm. What's your height and weight? Uh, like 5'11", 190. Okay, so you're in pretty good shape. Yeah. Yeah, I'm in really good shape. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good. Well, I mean, like as far as the look goes, like, you know, clean yourself up so you look a little bit tighter. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like kill the mustache. You know, your hair looks tight, you know, so just make sure you don't let it get all messy or sloppy or the fade sucks. You know, fades look really good. I know guys that go in weekly, you know, for a fresh fade. I get my beard done on a weekly basis, but I'm also broadcasting weekly too. So it's mm -hmm. it's got to look clean. But if you live your life in that way and you have a high opinion of yourself, a strong opinion of yourself, and you're not bothered or like pushed aside by women that aren't choosing, who cares, dude? There, there, there's 8 billion people on a planet. Half of them are, are women. And you know what? Some of them live in your vicinity. And Put yourself out there. Uh, don't waste your time with women that catfish you, fatfish you, you know, whatever it happens to be. Like if you meet her and she looks nothing like her photograph or she's not attractive enough for you, then just politely say, hey, you know what? This isn't what I signed up for. I got other things to do, but, you know, have yourself a good day and just let her know, you know, you misled me with your photography. Mm -hmm. um, women do that. Like, like women tend to lie about what they look like. Men on dating apps tend to lie about more more so things like height and success. Um, like they'll stand beside a Lambo in their photographs, even though they don't own a Lambo. They might stand beside shorter people to look taller sort of thing, or they might cut out, cut out taller people in photography. Like those are the things that women typically feel misled about on online dating. So as long as you show up being as tall as you they think you are, right? And that's really all that matters, right? Uh, just don't lie about your you know, your success in uh, life and just filter through it, man. You got to dig through a lot of dirt to find gold. Right. And, um, you know, you'll get there. Uh, I appreciate the feedback and, uh, the candor too. Yeah. I, I'm going to go shave this mustache right now. <laughs> yeah. Kill it, man. Kill it. And just, you know, use that time on the haircut. Cause you got a good, you know, like a solid, good hair, uh, head of hair. Sorry. I should say, um, what color are your eyes? Uh, they're like hazel green. Hazel they're... hazel green eyes and blonde hair is super rare. Chicks dig that, dude. They do. You are correct. Right. So capitalize on it. I really hope you guys enjoyed that clip. If you want to watch the full length podcast, you can find that over here, that clip's from. If you're newer to the channel, make sure you hit subscribe over here and pin down below in the top comment. You'll find a bunch of useful links to my website, my supplement line books, and a bunch of other stuff. Have an amazing day. Peace out.